Hello guys! Two sockets back. We finally moved. We have a new garage. One that hopefully won't be freaking broken into. And we got this new to the two suck garage with CB7. Yeah. This one in particular is a 1990 Honda Accord EX or LX or whatever. As Yannick shows. <laughs> but it's as literally stock as stock can get. It even has gorgeous, really ugly brown interior, but you guys she can just hardly said see. Gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeously ugly. Oh. <laughs> so we are going to do an H22 swap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a little bit more than the H22 swap, isn't there, Yannick? Oh, I don't know. What's something that makes things go bang? Nitrous. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got nitrous to go with this H22. So, yeah, most of the nitrous kit is over there sitting with the turbo kit. But, anyway, we got to get this junk out. And if you guys didn't see from this awesome uh, viewing of the interior, it is a goddamn automatic. It's That's not acceptable. Garage, yeah, it's not acceptable. I've already done a few neutral drops. Surprisingly, it didn't blow up the transmission or anything like that. But, uh, yes, this is the $700 project. Now, I know from our last video, we ha I had a, a cord wagon. Well, that's kind of been... Uh, <laughs> this motor was in it. We put it in it. I got some video clips. I'll put some video clips alongside this for you guys. But, uh, yeah, I kind of rolled that. Oops. Da, 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 da. Fuck. Roll it. <laughs> But uh, so now I got rid of that guy. I pulled the motor out because the motor was still fine. I actually drove the car back in the garage here to pull it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Even though it was all fucked up. Yeah, to totally fucked. Yeah. And so now we got this to play with. Ooh, yes. And it's also way lighter than the wagon, so that's kind of also a bonus. And a See? lot more sleeperish because no one would expect a fucking Accord sedan as well. But show him with brown interior. Yeah, and rust. <laughs> That's not too rusted. It, there's rust. For a Canadian car, it's not too rusted yeah, from 1990. Oh yeah, and this thing also has 203,000 for those who care about that. Which is rather low for <laughs> 1990. Yeah, considering I think the national average for a 1990 right now would be just over 700,000 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so, let's get to Yannick. We're going to pull off the hood and then uh, start disconnecting shit. But where's the VTEC? It doesn't have VTEC, my child. <laughs> That's just why, my child. We you got this. We need all the VTEC. All the VTEC. Mm. And there's there's going to be a whole bunch of other crap going on with this. I literally got another cylinder head there that I'm going to actually do a whole bunch of crap to. So it's going to make even more power. Let's get to it. <laughs> uh, Yannick was only really in here to help me pull that hood off. And we had to move the motor over. But uh, I'm just kind of doing a one-man team today. Kind of down for today. I mostly got everything disconnected. The transmission cooling lines are disconnected. The top rad hose is disconnected. Just got to remove the bottom. Uh, all the wiring, everything on this side, besides the bottom rad hose, is disconnected. Everything's disconnected there. And all the wiring on this side is all disconnected too. So hopefully I can get someone over because this jack is sketchy as fuck. Then they can help me pull this uh, bitch out. But yeah, that's a uh, hit for the first uh, first day of working on it. Motor's already almost out. I only really worked on it for about an hour, but yeah, that's it uh, for now. QA all the clips that I got left of my poor wagon before I killed it. <laughs> So I got some more work done on the Accord. I had some help from a few buddies. I didn't really film the rest of taking it out 
or really anything because it was already halfway taken out we just have to get the rest of the crap off of it but um so there's the motor the big ass freaking automatic transmission here's the bay so next order of business is starting to do the manual swap since it's a lot easier with the motor out of the car so i gotta run the line all the way over for the hydraulic clutch and then i'm gonna start ripping apart the interior but i just gotta get that block or a whole motor and everything kind of just pushed off to the side but uh yeah so day number two we got the motor totally out of the car now we got to, to get ready for its uh new powertrain with a manual not an auto but a manual i took the rat out so it's a lot easier but uh, yeah, nice big open bay for that bitch. And then next to get everything else out of there. I'll probably start working on it again tomorrow. I'll kind of film a little bit more of pulling stuff apart on the interior side for the manual. I don't even know if I have the right stuff to for the shifter or anything. I might have to go for uh, to a pick and pull run and get some stuff or fabricate something. I've never done a manual to auto swap on one of these cars. And a lot of the parts I'm using is off of a 5th gen. So I don't know how close the same it is. But uh, yeah, because that was used to be in a 5th generation Accord. It was in the wagon. Ah, poor wagon. But uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll get it almost wired in. But I am going on vacation here soon. So I won't, I'll be out for a week before I can uh, get the motor back in. So I'm going to use the current week that I have left before I leave to kind of get the car all prepared for the motor. So, but yeah, I might have to do a few runs to the junkyard or something and find uh, the manual running gear for the inside. I mean, the clutch master and everything should be the same, same with the pedal. So I have all that stuff, but uh, yeah, we'll play it by ear. Oh, and um, the <laughs> shock on this side, I don't think I'm gonna be really able to see now. Oh. Uh, Here's two pieces of the spring. So yeah, the spring's totally broken on that side. Um, I'll get the light to show you guys. So as you can see, if I can stick my light to something. So <laughs> that's where the coil spring is right now. That's This is the seat for the coil spring. It totally broke off a whole coil and Fell right through. So, uh, yeah, I figured it out when I was popping the bottom ball joint loose and <laughs> those two pieces fell off. So, <sighs> guess it's a good sign to lower the car then. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Slow-ass motor out. Gonna be putting the fast motor in soon.